So before I show you this method, there's a few things you need to bear in mind. If you have an XLSX file, you can open it, you can get in, you can see everything, you can change sheet names, but you just don't know the password to be able to edit the sheet, then skip ahead, everything's fine, this method's gonna be brilliant. But if you can't get into the file, because there's a password on the actual file, you need a different video of mine. I've got two videos on cracking passwords for files, so link's probably up on the screen or certainly in the description. So go and look at that video because that'll show you how to do that. So you're now in a file you can open. Is it an XLSB file? Because if it is, then you need to save it as an XLSX. Same thing if it's an XLS file, you're going to need to save it as XLSX. If you don't know what type of file you've got, simply go into a Windows Explorer, click on the view and you'll see there's a tick box there, file name extensions, make sure that's ticked, then you'll be able to see what type of file you've got and what's going to work. If you're using a really old version of Excel, so you can't even save it as that type of file, Again, you need one of my other videos. Again, there's a link in the description that will show you where you need to go. You need to remove passwords from those sheets. Okay, that's it. We're good to go. Let's get on with it. What you need to do is change the file extension of the file to a zip file. Okay. So you'll get a warning about changing that, which you can ignore. If you right click on that zip file and you open it with Windows Explorer, if you can't see settings by the way, if you can't see the file extensions, go to the view menu on Windows Explorer and make sure this is ticked, file name extensions, okay? But anyway, what we're gonna do is go to this new extract bar because we're now in a zip file and hit extract all and that's just gonna put it on my desktop, which is ideal, so I'll just extract it to my desktop instantly opens in a folder, I can now close the original. So I'm now looking at the contents of my zipped up Excel spreadsheet file and you can see there's a folder or there will always be a folder called Excel and it's that that you need to open. Within that there'll be one called Worksheets. So you open up Worksheets and you'll have an XML file for every worksheet. What we need to do, now we've only got one in here and that's the one that's got the protection, but you'll need to do this for every sheet that's got protection. Right click on it and click Edit. That will open a dialogue, it might, it might just open in an editor, but we're going to open it in Notepad. You need to be able to edit it. Opening it in Internet Explorer is not going to help you. If you've got something like 7-Zip or WinRAR installed already on your computer, then you can edit zip files directly. So you don't need to extract them, but I'm showing you the software free version of doing this hack. Right, there's a load of code. You don't really need to understand it. All you need to do is hit Control F and find the word protect. And there we go. Right, so you can see we now have sheet protection. Now what you need to do is highlight the code immediately before it and make a note of it. So I'm gonna use a blank notepad down here. I'm just gonna put the code immediately before. I'm then gonna take the sheet protection code and all the code, what I'm looking for is the arrow, kind of the right hand arrow which signifies the end of this sheet protection code. So I'm going to keep going along until I find this. Uh, should be quite soon. There it is. Right. OK, so that's there. So I'm going to now cut to that using Control X. Go back and make another note of that. Hit return. And then I'm also going to make a note of the next piece of code. Put that there. So we now know that this piece of code goes between these other two pieces. So if we want to put this password back, that's what we're that's where we need to put it within the code. So we need to bear that in mind. Right. So go back to the XML file and we can just close it because we've cut that entire protection piece of code out and say yes. And then if we go back here to the file again, and we click um, 
unprotected free. So this is the name of the spreadsheet, whatever the name of the spreadsheet is, that folder. Highlight it all, go to share, hit zip. That will zip it all into one file and we'll call this um, unprotected three. And we'll give it, rather than zip, we'll call it XLSX, which of course will give you another warning. Click OK. Right, I'm going to move that back onto the dashboard, right? So we now have the same file in Excel, but this time you can see it's unprotected. So that, that's, that's kind of it if all you want to do is remove your protection. But what I'm going to do is change the file and reinstate the protection. So I just highlight this and say, you know, oh, check this video out. And obviously I would highly recommend you do check this video out. Right, amazing dynamic Excel charts. Okay, I'm now gonna save this. And I can't put the protection back on here because I don't know what the password originally was. I could put my own password on, but that, that's, that's not what I'm talking about here, about reinstating the original password. So we now have this unprotected three. So now I wanna reinstate the protection. So again, change the file extension to a zip. And I'm gonna open it with Windows Explorer and extract all to the desktop. Close that one there. So this is the extracted document. Again, back in the Excel folder, the worksheets folder, and there's the sheet one, which I can now edit in Notepad. So that's all the same as we previously did. So now what I need to do, because in theory, if I click on there, protect, it can't find it because there is no protection on the sheet. I want to put it back in. Where do I put it? Well, this is where our notes came in. So I'm going to look for sheet data. So control F, control V, find next sheet data. Right. Is it the next piece of code page margins? No, it's not. It's row. And that's absolutely critical that you put this in the right place. So go back, find the next one, sheet data. Right, next piece of code is sheet margins, excellent. Right, so we need to paste that piece of code, that missing piece of code back in between these two lines. So we'll take the whole thing out, copy it, paste it back in. Okay, close it, save it. Right, now I could close that, but I'm gonna keep it just in case something goes wrong. Right, so if we go back up to our unprotected free now, highlight it all, go to share, go to zip, and call this reprotected, it's reprotected, and Excel S X. Reprotected, let's have a look. It's got my change on it, it won't let me change it. Superb. Did it use the same password though? Because that's key, because when you give this back to the person, it's going to be stunned. Like, How on earth did you change that? You must know the password. Format unprotect, and I'm pretty sure. Yes, same password. Up for Excel as it was on this. So there we go. So that is how you can remove a password and make changes to a file and reinstate the exact same password without even knowing what that password is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit subscribe for plenty more tips and tricks on Up for Excel, and I'll see you soon.